Well, I'm a little stumped. Wood pun, because we're gonna be talking about petrified wood here in a second. So, we have um, some material, material here. Uh, I pulled those from the pile out back, and I didn't think anything of it up until I was having to go through the pile to pick some stuff out for um, some friends. And I just kept finding pieces that I forgot were even there. So, I'm, and, and the thing is, I don't know what it is. And that's what's just driving me up the wall. I've messaged um, multiple people, and no one knows uh, what variety it is, where it came from, and it's driving me a little crazy. <laughs> but you can see that it looks like petrified wood i mean it's got it's got that you know that bark surface well this stuff is heavily agatized and it almost looks like jasper but it's not jasper you can see the, the growth rings right there they're going that way but the stuff is just beautiful and it's driving me up the wall i don't know what it is but i'm finding some um, some good chunks um, I haven't found a full round of it, I don't think. Um, I mean, I have some yellow petrified wood in the, in the rock room, but I don't think it's the same material. But I found partial rounds, and this could be a round itself. Um, this might be the center of it, I don't know for sure, I'll have to cut it open and find out. And then you got this piece here, this is not even a round, but you can see that the, the surface looks like some kind of bark. It looks like bark. But the inside, you would think it to be Jasper. The camera's having a hard time wanting to focus on this. And it's just, it's beautiful stuff, and I just don't know what it is. I don't, I mean, I know it's petrified wood. Some kind of agatized, um, petrified wood. It's just, as far as the locality of it, like, is it rare material can you not mine it anymore like this is a much bigger piece like, these are these are important questions like it's hard to judge what something's worth per se um if you don't know where it came from and i don't know i'm just stumped just a little stumped it's beautiful stuff. I actually have a piece over here in the saw. Checked up and ready to go. It's another partial round. So I'm really curious what it's going to look like on the inside. Don't drop my phone because that would kind of suck a little bit. Alright, the saw's done. Let's see what we got. Pull it back. Oh my gosh, look at that. Let's go to the other side here. Wow. Who would have thunk? Look at that. It's beautiful. Alright, let's get this washed off and uh, prepped for polish. Okay, it's been a couple days, and here's what's going on so far. So far, I left this side alone, and I sanded this side in preparation for polish. Now, that just means I have not polished it yet. I will actually polish bo both these pieces in due time, and I'll most likely will do just a quick little video on it. Nothing too fancy, but um, here is what we have. This is a good comparison of what... I have to work with. Now, I would really, really love to know where this stuff comes from. I'll get to that more in here in a second. But the fact that this stuff will take a polish is just, it's awesome. I'm really excited to be able to polish this stuff. You can see the wood grain. It's a beautiful. I mean, if you just look at it from the outside, you wouldn't think that. 
You're like, okay, yeah, that's this kind of looks like petrified wood. A little bit. But then you cut it open. And you can just see the wood grain. See, to me, this is art. Well, nature, nature's art, really. But what's even cooler, like, it doesn't stop there. I noticed that when I was sanding this, I noticed that there was a little flake of what looks to be pyrite. Right there. That little speck. Right there. And I think I saw some more down here, too. And as you can see, I'm still in the sanding process. So you can actually see the, uh, the striations from the sandpaper going in that direction. So I just need to spend more time in the sander to get those up before I go to polish. And the reason why I haven't done polish yet because, well, I like to be able to have enough time in the day to, or early in the day, to do polish and then go straight to washing. Because when that cerium oxide gets in the, all the cracks and crevices, it's just, it's a huge pain to have to try to scrub it out late at night. And so I would rather wait until, you know, people aren't sleeping to fire up the, uh, the little pressure washer I have. It's just a beautiful stone. And I, I'm really excited to get this polished up to uh, put in my rock room because that is just a beautiful specimen. Okay, this is where I ask for a little bit of help from all of you. If you or anyone that you know is well versed in petrified wood and its localities, please let me know kind of where the stuff comes from because that would be greatly appreciative. I'm not looking for GPS coordinates. The only thing I am interested in is kind of county and state or even Providence if it doesn't come from the US. Just so I can tag it on the back of this rock and put it in the rock room. Of course, after I polish it because I'm not going to put it in like this. But I would love to have as much information on this material as possible if anyone out there has more knowledge um, for this material. Yeah. So, thank you everyone for watching. I hope to hear something soon. So some more information on this would be super great. And I will see you guys in the next video. Rock on.